Underwater humps will produce walleye all season, and while often confusing to new anglers, fishing the humps isn't complicated and doesn't require expensive gear. In today's video, I'll share my system for working the underwater humps, and later on we'll celebrate the day's catch right here at my lakeside tiki bar, where I'll prepare my favorite appetizer, smoked bacon-wrapped walleye. Welcome to Lake Life. Hey, what is up guys? I'm Favstar. It's a beautiful morning on Lake of the Woods and I'm finally back with another beginner's walleye fishing video. Now last time we discussed the basic walleye fishing setup and we worked the shorelines and points. Today we're going to get into some deeper water and work the underwater humps. Just like last time we'll be keeping things as simple as possible. We'll be using the classic jig and minnow setup but this time we'll be using a depth finder to locate humps and once located we'll be marking them with a lindy marker. Now a lindy marker is simply a barbell shaped buoy with internal ballast weights which allow the marker to hold position even in strong winds. Once positioned on the hump the marker will become our visual reference helping us maintain position and stay on fish. Without further ado let's gear up and I'll see you guys on the water. Alright guys, I've arrived at my first location and I've chosen a 27 foot hump with surrounding lake bed depth of around 45 feet. Finding suitable humps always begins with analyzing your lake chart. Humps can be found either in open water or as an extension of an island or the mainland, but in either case you'll want to see a sharp elevation change between the hump and the surrounding lake bed. Once arriving at the hump, I always begin by using my depth finder to locate the crest of the hump and set my lindy marker. At that point, I'll begin fishing using a series of passes which span the entire width of the hump, hoping to find underwater cover where fish are grouping up. Fish on, guys. Might be a little one. No, it's a good eater size. All right, guys, we got our first walleye in the boat. Nice one, too. All right, guys, perfect little eater. We're on the board today. Okay guys, we caught this about 10 yards south of our Lindy marker. I'm going to make another pass along the same line. Alright guys, fish on. Nice one. Boy, it's a real fighter. A real fighter. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, it's a beautiful walleye, guys. Here we go. It's a nice one. Big one. Oh, 
Here we go, guys. I'd say about a three pounder. It's going into the well. Okay, guys, fish on. Oh, nice one this time. Here we go, guys. A nice Lake of the Woods walleye. I'm just going to grab the scale. See what this guy weighs. About two pounds. Fish on, guys, fish on. I didn't get to set the hook very good, so I'm just going to try to keep tension on the line. This one's a strong fighter. Whoa, beautiful walleye. Whoa. All right, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Beautiful Lake of the Woods walleye there, guys. Almost too big as an eater, but I'm going to hang on to him for now anyway. Beautiful walleye, guys, but a little too big for an eater. He's going to go back. All right, guys, well, we've had a pretty successful day. We were fortunate to find a small shelf within the hump where walleye were grouping up. Now, this is the big advantage to the Lindy Marker. Since it's so common to drift out of position while you're netting and unhooking your catch, we simply need to make a quick mental note of our position relative to the marker when we get a strike. This allows us to easily return to that exact location on our next pass. If you guys haven't picked up a Lindy marker yet, I'll link one in the description box down below where you can help support the channel. Well, we've got more than enough fish for our dinner Let's head back to camp and prepare the bacon wrapped walleyes.
prepare the bacon wrapped walleyes, begin by pre-cooking the bacon. You'll want to remove it from the pan just before the bacon starts to become crispy. The beauty of this recipe is its simplicity. You won't need any spices at all and the walleye will absorb all of its flavors from the bacon. Slice your walleye into bite-sized chunks, wrap with bacon and skewer. All right guys, with Lake of the Woods walleye, we need a Lake of the Woods beer. I've gone with a channel marker light lager from Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. And just a hint of citrus perfectly brings out the flavor in the walleye. I recommend you guys try it. The moment of truth. absolutely fantastic all right guys if you enjoyed this episode remember to leave a like and subscribe down below for more videos thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one